My name is Eva Hackenson and I'm a lecturer in mechanical engineering here at the University of Auckland. So I started teaching in January 2018 and I teach CAD to our first year engineers. And starting this year, we are going to Autodesk Inventor as our CAD program of choice. And Autodesk Inventor was the obvious choice for something that is user friendly and suitable for all students. With the wide range of skill sets we've got in here, and the wide range of equipment. It's allowed people to go from using the manual machinery through to using HSM to program a machine which is kind of between a full blown CNC mill and a manual mill. They give the guys the confidence to develop their skills in programming using a machine that's not as scary as a full blown CNC mill. One of our goals in this shop is to give our users the best possible experience when we have to make their parts and solve their problems. If we can leverage Autodesk's product design collection and associated software such as Vault to make that process as seamless and user friendly as possible by integrating the smarts that are, that are there, then that would be great. I think Inventor is really good. It's been the best package I've found. I like it because it's simple but it doesn't take away any advanced features that you want and most recently, because I've been doing a bit more advanced stuff now that I'm at uni, I have been using just like the forums and stuff, they're really great and I can always, I've asked like three or four questions on them so far and I always get a really good reply really quickly so it's a great tool for me. On average, for the past four or five years, we've been doing about 700 to 750 individual jobs per year through this workshop. Every single job is drawn up in Inventor, and we make sure that we capture the knowledge during the phase of manufacturing that job. We, we capture that knowledge by modeling the setup as accurately as we can. We have machine models. We model our subplate. We model the fourth axis. We know what each setup looked like when we were machining parts and feed that back into our data management to make sure that we can make the parts better in the future, should we ever need to. With all the changes that have been happening in manufacturing and the advances that everybody's going through to try and keep up with technology, one of the biggest challenges for us is upskilling our staff. And we've tried a few other software packages and the learning curve has always quite, been quite steep and sometimes out of reach for some people. Having Autodesk software here in use has certainly made that process easier for us and we've seen great improvements in the last few years.